Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to create a number guessing game using Java. Let's get started. In this program, we'll be using random numbers. We'll need to create a random object. Random random equals new random. Then import this class. So at the top of our Java file, import java.util.random. This random object can generate random numbers for us. We'll also accept user input. We'll need a scanner. Scanner scanner equals new scanner. Then within the set of parentheses, type system.in. Then import this class as well. Import java.util.scanner. We have a random object to generate random numbers and a scanner object to accept user input. What are the different variables we'll need? We'll need the following an integer to hold our guess. So let's say we're going to guess a random number between 1 and 100. We'll use the scanner to accept an integer and place it within this variable of guess. For example, the guess might be 50. We'll need to keep track of the amount of attempts it took a user to get the correct number. Int attempts. We'll assign these later. And we'll need a random number. Int random number. Let's go ahead and assign this right away. To generate a random number, we're going to use our random object, use the next int method of a random object. Within this method, we can list two numbers, a range. If I would like a number between, let's say, 1 and 10, my two numbers would be 1, 11. The first number is inclusive, the second number is exclusive. Let's perform a test run of our random number. I just want to be sure that it's generating correctly. When writing a program, it is a good idea to test your code every once in a while, just to be sure that everything's working. So we should get random numbers between 1 and 10. 1, 10, 5, 8. Good enough. A random number stores a random number after generating it. Let's create a welcome message. Let's say number guessing game. We will prompt the user guess a number between. Let's start with 1 through 10. Later on, we'll increase it to 100. Now, we'll need a while loop, but not just any while loop. We'll create a do while loop. So do this code once while this condition remains true. And let me zoom in a little bit. So what's our condition going to be? We're going to continue playing this game while our guess does not equal our random number. We'll keep on playing until we get the random number. Exclamation point equals means not equal. So if our guess does not equal our random number, this returns true then. We want to keep playing while our guess doesn't equal the random number. Within this do while loop, we'll prompt the user to enter in their guess. I'm going to use print line instead of print for guess a number between 1 and 10. Now we'll prompt the user to enter a number. Enter a guess. Enter a guess. For this, I'll use print instead of print line. We will assign our guess variable equal to use our scanner, use the next int method. We're also keeping track of the amount of attempts it takes a user to get the correct number. So we can increment attempts by adding plus plus. And let's go ahead and initialize attempts. We'll set that to be zero. Temporarily, outside the while loop, I'm going to print you have one. My random number right now is only between one and 10. I'm just going to keep guessing until we get the right number. So I'll just start with one and go all the way to 10. The answer was 9. We escaped the while loop. 
So we know that this is working currently. One thing this program is missing is that we'll want to give a user a clue if their guess is too low or too high, because we have no way to tell. I'm just typing in random numbers, and I have no clue how close I am to the actual number that we need to guess. Let's get rid of this print statement. We were using it for testing purposes. Within the do while loop, we'll write an if statement. We'll check if our guess is less than our random number. That means we guessed too low. If that's the case, we'll output the following. Too low. Try again. Else if our guess is greater than our random number, that means we guessed too high. Too high. Try again. If our guess isn't lower than our random number, and our guess isn't greater than our random number, that means our guess must equal the random number. So if that's the case, we would be executing this else statement, because the preceding two conditions would be false. That means we have the right answer, the right guess. So we'll output the following. Correct. The, let me zoom out. The number was plus our random number. And then we'll display the amount of attempts it took. Number of attempts plus our variable of attempts. After each guess, we increment it by one. The last thing I'm forgetting is to close my scanner because I always forget to close it. Scanner.close. Okay, let's perform a test run. We're only guessing a number between 1 and 10 currently. I'll guess something right in the middle, 5. Too low, try again. The random number we have to guess should be between 5 and 10 then. I'll go with 7. Too low. 8. Too low. 9. Too low. Okay, it must be 10 then. Correct. The number was 10. Number of attempts, it took 5. We're going to improve this code now. What if we would like the numbers 1 through 100 this time? Well, we could make this program a little more flexible. Instead of hard coding these numbers within the next integer method, we'll place some variables here instead. We will create int min equals whatever you want the minimum to be. Let's say 1. Int max. I will set the max to be 100. Let's replace these two numbers. The first one will be min, comma, max. So these variables behave as if they were these numbers. Within this range, the second number is exclusive. So to include 100, I'm going to add plus 1. Give me the numbers between 1 and 100. Within this print statement, let's use printf instead. We'll replace these numbers with the format specifier, a placeholder. We will display an integer, so we need d. Let's do the same thing with 10, d. Uh, let's do comma min comma max, and then add a new line at the end. Let's do one final run. So now we're guessing a number between 1 and 100. I'll guess something right in the middle. Too high, try again. Our number's going to be between 1 and 50 then. 25, too high. 12, too high. 6, too high. 3, too low. Between 3 and 6. 4, correct, the number was 4. The number of attempts, it took 6 attempts. All right, everybody, so that is a number guessing game that you can create using Java.